Hello guys, I recently received a question on Twitter, how to change the foreign key and add on delete cascade if you haven't done it earlier while running migrations. So for example, if in your project you have something like this, so product belongs to a category, but if you want to delete the category, you receive an error and constraint. So for example, here in my Tinkerwell, I get the category and if I want to delete the category, if there are products for that category already, I will receive an error. And then if you get that error, you think, okay, I want to change that constraint, change that foreign key to have on delete cascade. So instead of this error, it would automatically delete all the products associated with that category. But how can you change that migration, the old migration? Or what is the syntax to create a new migration to change that foreign key, change that constraint part? In Laravel documentation for migrations, there's a section called modifying columns, which contains change. So you would think there's something like that for foreign keys. So table foreign ID something change. Unfortunately, it's not the case. There is no way to change foreign keys. If we scroll down to foreign key constraints, there's a syntax for creating the foreign keys and for dropping the foreign keys, but there's nothing about change. And the thing is, even if we add the change into Laravel under the hood, MySQL database would still do drop foreign key and then create that foreign key. So this is exactly what we need to do in Laravel in migrations. So we run PHP artisan make migration and for example, change category constraint. There is no standard here how you call that. The main thing is in products table, which means it would generate the schema table products. Okay. So we have that new migration and we have schema table products. And what we need to do here is table drop. So drop foreign key and the syntax of the name of that foreign key. There are a few ways actually. The best way in my opinion is to have an array and inside of that array you give the field name which is category ID. Or you can specify the real name of that foreign key which is automatically set which is something like this in Laravel documentation, post user ID foreign, which in our case would be product category ID foreign. But this is, I guess, more readable. And then inside of the same migration, you recreate that foreign key, but we don't recreate the field itself. So the field itself stays. That's why it's pretty safe to perform that operation. So it doesn't really change the data, but we don't copy the line from here because foreign ID contains two things in itself. It's a shorter syntax of column with foreign key. In our case, column exists. So we need to do table, not foreign ID, but just foreign, which is just the foreign key. And we provide category ID. And then we need to provide the full syntax like references ID on table of categories like this. So that would be the syntax or actually maybe constraint would work here as well. And then in here we add cascade on delete like this. So now let's try to run this one. But since it's a very tricky operation, and we're not sure whether it succeeds or not, let's try pretending running the migration. So not sure if you know about this syntax, there's artisan migrate dash dash pretend, which will not actually run the migration, but show the SQL syntax what would be executed. We we'll do that. And here's the SQL syntax that would be executed. Alter table, drop foreign key, and then alter table products, add constraint. Okay, I think we're pretty safe. And let's try to actually run that migration. We run and it is successful. And now if we repeat the same sentence in the Tinkerwell of deleting the category, it should succeed and automatically delete the products. Before doing that, let's check the database. So currently we have category ID shoes and what products do we have with category ID? There's one product ID 19. So let's see if it's automatically deleted. And as you can see, the result is true. And in the products table, we don't have ID 19. So this is successful. So yeah, this is how you drop the foreign key and recreate that if you want to make any changes, like for example, adding cascade on delete. If you want to get more short videos like this one, subscribe to the channel, of course. But if you want to get longer videos and longer tutorials, we have a lot of courses on our Laravel daily com. I will just briefly scroll down so you would get the picture. So inertia, filament, validation, exceptions, filament again, APIs, queues, Vue.js, and a lot of other stuff. So subscribe to the premium membership of Laravel daily com to get that all pile of knowledge. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.